welcome i welcome you all in the lecture of this course samasa in paninian grammar and this is the first course on samasa as is our practice we begin the lecture with the recitation of the mangala charana विश्वेश सच्चिदानंद वंदेहम योखिल जगत चरीकर्ती बरी भरती संजरीहर्ती लीलया विश्वेश सच्चिदानंद वंदेहम योखिल जगत चरीकर्ती बरी भरती संजरीहर्ती लीलया In this course, we are focused on the Tatpurusha Samasa. Tatpurusha is a prominent type of Samasa in Sanskrit, along with Avyayi Bhava, Bahuvrihi, and Dvandva. These Samasas are stated in the text of Ashtadhyayi in the following order: Avyayi Bhava, Tatpurusha, Bahuvrihi, and Dvandva. Tatpurusha Samasa. is by far stated to be the most productive of the samasas be it samasa vidhayaka sutra be it samasa anta pratyaya vidhayaka sutra or be it samasa swara vidhayaka sutra the number of sutras composed by panini are very much in comparison with the sutras composed by panini in order to explain other types of sutras there are also quite a lot of varieties within the broad umbrella of tatpurusha and we have studied them in this course we started with the vibhakti tatpurusha where we studied dvitiya vibhakti tatpurusha first then trutiya then chaturthi then panchami then saptami and finally shashti tatpurusha in that order as given in the text of ashtadhyayi the core of paninian grammar and the paninian grammatical tradition then we studied karma dharaya after which ekadeshi samasa and also nay tatpurusha samasa then we studied gati tatpurusha samasa and then finally we studied upapada tatpurusha samasa we also studied the derivation process of a samasa in which the laukika vigraha plays a very crucial role highlighting the interrelation of padas thereby the vyapeksha lakshana samarthya where there is some prekshitarth and sambaddhartha then the alaukika vigraha takes place then we also have studied the samasanta pratyaya taking place then subluk happens then purvapada karya happens and we have studied in brief some purvapada karyas in the initial part of this course in this lecture we shall focus on some more purvapada karyas that happen in the tatpurusha samasa we know that the initial member of the tatpurusha samasa or for that matter any samasa is called purva pada and the operations that happen on this purva pada are referred to as purva pada karya these are stated in an adhikara 631 the adhikara is alug uttara pade 631 and in this particular adhikara sutra there are two padas alug and uttara pade uttara pade is relevant from this point of view uttara pade continues up to the end of 6 3 so the entire 6 3 is governed by the adhikara uttara pade 
Uttarapad is 7 slash 1 of Uttarapad. And Uttarapad is the technical term used for the final member of the Tatpurusha Samasa or for that matter any other Samasa as well. So when Uttarapada is used in the seventh case as an Adhikara, it states the environment, namely immediately before the Uttarapada, that is the last member of the compound. Obviously, in case of Tatpurusha, it invariably refers to the first member of the compound, namely the Purvapada, which undergoes certain operation in the environment of the Uttarapada following. So immediately before the last member of the compound, what comes invariably is the Purvapada. And then the operations related to the modifications in the Purvapada are stated in 6.3 Shastadhyaya Tritiyapada of the Ashtadhyayi, some of which we shall study in this particular lecture. So some of the Purvapada Karyas are non-deletion of the sup, also stated as aluk. They are also treated in 6.3. Umvat bhava, the going back to the pratipadika form from a feminine gender suffixed form is the pummat bhava. This is also stated in 6.3. Morphological modifications are also stated in 6.3 and phonological modifications which are stated in 8.3 and 4 and so on, they are also the Purvapada Karyas. Some of them we have already studied in the initial part of this course. In this lecture, we shall focus on the morphological modifications that happen as far as the Purvapada is concerned. So the Purvapada Karya is concerned. Let us study sutras one by one. The first sutra that we study is 6350, which is Radayasya Rhul Lekha Yadan Laseshu. Radayasya Rhut Lekha Yad An Laseshu. There are three padas in the sutra, Radayasya Rhut and Lekha Yad An Laseshu. Radayasya is 6 slash 1, Rhut is 1 slash 1, Lekha Yad An Laseshu is 7 slash 3. So what the sutra means over here is that immediately before the Uttarapadas, Lekha la, and Lasa and the suffixes Yad and An, substitute Rat in place of Radaya. I repeat, immediately before the Uttarapadas, Lekha and Lasa and the suffixes Yad and An, substitute Rat in place of Radaya. So the structure of the application of this sutra can be shown in the following manner. So if you have Hridaya plus Lekha, Yad, An and Lasa, then Hridaya is substituted by Rat plus Lekha, Yad, An and Lasa. So now when the meaning is writing of heart, Hridayam Likhati, one who writes one's heart. So here we have the Laukika Vigraha Hridayam Likhati and the Alaukika Vigraha is Hridaya plus Am plus Likha plus An. Now Samasa Saudhnya takes place, Pratipadika Saudhnya takes place. So Supodhatu Pratipadika Yoho applies and so the Next stage in the derivation is Rudaya plus 0 plus Likha plus An and Likha becomes Lekha. So Rudaya plus 0 plus Lekha plus A. And now because Lekha is the Uttarabada, Rudaya is substituted by Rat. So we have Rat plus Lekha and then this the gets substituted by La. So we have Rhal Lekha. Rhal Lekha. Writing of the heart, Rhul Lekha, as the finally derived compound output. Similarly, blossoming of heart is the meaning to be conveyed, and we have 
द लौकिक विग्रह हृदय से लासा एंड देन इट अंडर गोज द सेम प्रोसेस हृदय से लासा एंड देन फाइनली डिराइव कंपाउंड आउटपुट इज रस उस प्रथमा एक वचन इज रस हृदय से रेख यद अण लासेशु The next sutra is va shok shyai rogeshu In this sutra there are two padas va as well as shok shyai rogeshu Now the meaning of the sutra is the following Immediately before the uttara padas shok and roga and the suffix shyai substitute rat optionally in place of hridaya I repeat immediately before the uttar padas shoka and roga and the suffix shyai substitute rat optionally in place of hridaya so when we have hridaya plus shoka shyai roga following hridaya is substituted optionally by rat when shoka shyai and roga follow so the meaning to be conveyed is the sorrow of heart hridayasya shokah this is the laukika vigraha and then the alaukika vigraha is hridaya plus gnasi plus shoka plus su samasa saudnya takes place pratipadika saudnya takes place supodhatu pratipadika yo applies and so we have hridaya plus 0 plus shoka plus 0 and now in this particular stage hridaya is substituted optionally by rat so we have hridaya or rat plus shoka and so we have either hridaya shoka or rat shoka and finally derived output is hridaya shoka or rat shoka after applying the necessary sandhi rules hridaya shoka or rat shoka hridaya is substituted by rat optionally similarly when the meaning to be denoted is a disease of heart hridayasya rogah and so hridaya will be substituted optionally by rat and so you will get two outputs hridaya rog or rad rog and the prathama ekavachana would be hridaya rogah or rad rogah meaning the same thing as hridayasya rogah a disease of heart let us now go to the next sutra padasya pad aji ati ga upahateshu 6352 padasya pad aji ati ga upahateshu padasya is 6/1 which means in place of the word pad pad is 1/1 substitute pad aji ati ga upahateshu this is 7/3 when these are the uttara padas so the meaning of the sutra is the following immediately before the uttara padas aji ati ga and upahat pad is to be substituted by pad i repeat immediately before the uttara padas aji ati ga and upahat pad is to be substituted by pad so the structure of the sutra and the output can be shown in this particular manner when we have pad plus aji ati ga upahat as the input the output is pad plus aji ati ga and upahat so when the meaning to be conveyed is one who goes on two feet or both feet padabhyam ajati or padabhyam atati this is the laukika vigraha and here we have the suffix e added to aj and at so we have pad plus bhyam plus aji or ati plus su and so samasa saudnya takes place and pratipadika saudnya takes place so supodhatu pratipadika yo applies and so we have pad plus 0 plus aji or ati plus 0 and then pad is substituted by pad 
because aji and ati are the uttarapadas and so we have pada plus aji or ati as the next stage of derivation and we, when we join them together we get padaji or padati as the finally derived compound output meaning one who goes on two feet padaji or padati similarly when the meaning to be conveyed is the same and we have padabhyam gachati now we are using the verbal root differently padabhyam gachati and here we have the alaukika vigraha pada plus bhyam plus gama plus da and samasa saudnya takes place pratipadika saudnya also takes place supodhatu pratipadika jo applies so we have pada plus zero plus gama plus a in the suffix da da is a marker so a is the suffix which remains so pada plus zero plus gama plus a and then pada is substituted by pada and then am in ga, gama gets deleted because of the marker da so we have pada plus ga plus a and finally we get the form pada ga which means the same thing as pada bhyam gachati pada ga similarly when the meaning to be conveyed is struck or hit by two feet pada bhyam upahataha the meaning is conveyed by the finally compound output padopahat us prathama ekavachana is padopahataha next is 6354 which is hima kashi hatishucha words continued are padasya from 6352 and pat from 6353 and what this sutra means is that immediately before an uttarapada in the form of hima kashi and hati substitute pad by pat i repeat immediately before an uttarapada in the form of hima kashi and hati substitute pad by pat so pad is the purva pad which is to be substituted by pat in these three uttarapadas these three environments so here we have the meaning going by feet and the laukika vigraha is pada bhyam hatihi so we have the alaukika vigraha pada plus bhyam plus hati plus su and then samasa saudnya takes place pratipadika saudnya also takes place so supodhatu pratipadika yoho applies and so we have pada plus zero plus hati plus zero and then pada is substituted by pat by this particular sutra 6354 and so we have pat plus 0 plus hati plus 0 and then this the is substituted by the so we have pad plus hati and then ha in hati is substituted by dha jhayo hunya tarasyam so we have pad plus dhati and finally we have pad dhati as the finally derived compound output meaning the same thing as padabhyam hatihi going by feet paddhati similarly when the meaning to be conveyed is frost at feet or snow at feet we have padasya himam as the laukika vigraha and paddhimam as the finally derived compound output and the prathama ekavachana similarly when the meaning to be conveyed is to scratch by both feet one who scratches by both feet so padabhyam kashati this is the laukika vigraha and the finally derived compound output is pat kashin where pad is substituted by pat and pat kashi 
इज द प्रथमा एक वचन ऑफ पत्काशिन नेक्स्ट वी गो टू सिक्स थ्री वन जीरो वन द सूत्र इज कोहो कत तत्पुरुष अची वॉट दिस सूत्र मीन्स इज इन अ तत्पुरुष कंपाउंड इमीडिएटली बिफोर एन उत्तर पद दैट बिगिन्स विथ अ वॉवल कु इज सब्सटिट्यूटेड बाय कत इन दिस सूत्र देर आर फोर पदर्स कोहो कत तत्पुरुष एंड अचि तत्पुरुष इज सेवन स्लैश वन इन द तत्पुरुष कंपाउंड अचि इज सेवन स्लैश वन क्वालिफाइंग उत्तर पदे एंड देर फॉर अचि मीन्स अजादी कोहो इज सिक्स स्लैश वन कत इज वन स्लैश वन सो द मीनिंग ऑफ द सूत्र आई रिपीट इज द फॉलोइंग इन अ तत्पुरुष कंपाउंड इमीडिएटली बिफोर एन उत्तर पद दैट बिगिन्स विथ अ वॉवल कु इज सब्सटिट्यूटेड बाय कत सो वेन द मीनिंग टू बी कन्वेड इज अ सेंचर्ड हॉर्स कुत्सित अश्वा वी हैव कू प्लस सू प्लस अश्व प्लस सू एज द लौकिक विग्रह एंड सो कू गेट्स सब्सटिट्यूटेड बाय कत समास सौज्ञ टेक्स प्लेस प्रातिपदिक सौज्ञ टेक्स प्लेस सुपधातु प्रातिपदिक जो अप्लाइंस एंड वी हैव कद प्लस जीरो प्लस अश्व प्लस जीरो एंड वेन वी जॉइन देम टुगेदर वी गेट द फाइनली डिराइव्ड कंपाउंड आउटपुट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ कदश्व मीनिंग कुत्सित अश्व सिमिलरली वेन द मीनिंग टू बी कन्वेड इज सेंशुअर्ड फूड एंड द लौकिक विग्रह इज कुत्सित अन्नम वी हैव द अलौकिक विग्रह इन द फॉर्म ऑफ कू प्लस सू प्लस अन्न प्लस सू एंड कू हियर एंड कू हियर इज सब्सटिट्यूटेड बाय कत एंड सो वी हैव कत प्लस सू प्लस अन्न प्लस सू समास सौज्ञ टेक्स प्लेस प्रातिवधिक सौज्ञ टेक्स प्लेस एंड सुपोधातु प्रातिवधिक जो अप्लाइज सो वी हैव कू प्लस अन्न एंड कू इज सब्सटिट्यूटेड बाय कत and so we have kadanna as the finally derived compound output of this particular sutra the next sutra is 63102 rathavada yoscha this means in a tatpurusha compound also immediately before an uttara pada in the form of ratha and vada ku is substituted by kat i repeat in a tatpurusha compound also immediately before an uttara pada in the form of ratha and vada ku is substituted by kat so when the meaning to be denoted is a sensuous chariot the laukika vigraha is kutsitaha rathaha and the finally derived compound output is kadratha similarly when the meaning to be denoted is a sensuous speaker and the laukika vigraha is kutsitaha vadaha and the finally derived compound output is kadvada so kadratha and kadvada these are the compound outputs generated by substituting ku by kat in accordance with 63102 ratha vada yoscha Similarly, six three one zero three is trinecha jatau. What it means is, in a tatpurusha compound, also immediately before an uttara pada, in the form of trina, which means a grass of a specific type, ku is substituted by kat. I repeat, in a tatpurusha compound. also immediately before an uttara pada in the form of trina of a specific type ku is substituted by kat so when the meaning to be conveyed is a special type of grass the final the finally derived compound output is kat trina a special type of grass kat trina next we go to 
6.3.1.0.4 का पथ्यक्ष यो हो का पथ्यक्ष यो हो द मीनिंग ऑफ द सूत्र इज इन अ तत्पुरुष कंपाउंड ऑल्सो इमीडिएटली बिफोर एन उत्तर पद इन द फॉर्म ऑफ पथिन एंड अक्ष कु इज सब्सटीट्यूटेड बाय का आई रिपीट इन अ तत्पुरुष कंपाउंड ऑल्सो इमीडिएटली बिफोर एन उत्तर पद इन द फॉर्म ऑफ पथिन एंड अक्ष कु इज सब्सटीट्यूटेड बाय का so the meaning to be conveyed is a censured path and the laukika vigraha is kutsita panthaha and now ku is substituted by ka and so we get the finally derived compound output in the form of ka path and its prathama ekavachana would be ka patham similarly when the meaning to be conveyed is a censured i the laukika vigraha would be kutsitam aksham and ku being replaced by ka and we get the finally derived compound output namely kaksha ka pathyaksha yo ho now let us go to 63105 ishadarthe the meaning of the sutra is in a tatpurusha compound also immediately before an uttara pad ku when means little is substituted by ka i repeat in a tatpurusha compound also immediately before an uttara pad ku when means little is substituted by ka so when the meaning to be conveyed is little water ishad jalam is the laukika vigraha so ku means ishad here little here and so this ku is substituted by ka and so the finally derived compound output is ka jala ka jala meaning little water next we go to 63107 kavam choshne this sutra means in a tatpurusha compound immediately before an uttara pad ushna ku when means little is substituted by ka as well as kava optionally i repeat in a tatpurusha compound immediately before an uttara pad ushna ku when means little is substituted by ka as well as cover optionally so when you so when the meaning to be conveyed is little warm ishat ushnam is the laukika vigraha and finally we get the derived output optionally as kavoshna with cover as the substitute koshna with ka as the substitute and kadushna with kat as the substitute of ku so we have three forms kavoshna koshna and kadushna meaning ishad ushna little warm to summarize the operations which affect the purva pada shape the form of the final output of the compound these operations always take place in the environment of the uttara pad immediately following these operations are completely internal in many cases purva padas with or without these operations resemble the vocative singular form of the pratipadika in some cases the modifications are different forms these are the texts referred to thank you very much